First down on the way. Jones going to get set in the slot for the snap. Met by Davis that time. Second down here after that run play. Matt Ryan under center. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Davis there to make the tackle. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. The Panthers defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. First down, offense readying for the snap. Stewart's taking the handoff. Keeps churning ahead. Moore's there to take him down. Yeah, the draw play has been around forever and is still a valuable asset to all offenses. Make the defense think past. You hand it off, you get them retreating, and you can pick up a few extra yards. Benjamin's lined up in the slot. First and ten. This play will hold up. He's inbound. Quarterbacks love throwing the football against cover three. They're, the defense is trying to stop the big pass plays down the field so you can clearly see when somebody's around the receiver. Throw it out there near the sideline. Get these easy completions. Second down after the incompletion. Williams lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. And he's intercepted. Got a big lane. Unstoppable. The 30, the 20, the 10. Going to take it home for the touchdown. Touchdown. When a defense intercepts a pass like that and scores a touchdown, boy, does that give them hope. Gives them a lot of confidence. They really get the momentum on their side. And... It's going to be hard for the offense to come out here and do anything after that play. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. They'll take it at the 20. First down here. zone coverage against his quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. The Panthers will take the snap from the 45. Williams is tackled down. Second and short following the run. Newton's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Coming up, second down. Newton's lined up, two tight end set. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And Williams is taken down at the 18. D'Angelo Williams has been doing it for quite a few years now. He knows how to make people miss. And also with that experience, he's not afraid to run over you and still pick up yards. Looking across the middle as Olsen. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets a completion. Offense lines up here. It's second down and three. And Weatherspoon in on the tackle. Always a good idea to try to punt the football when you get down the red zone because passing the football can be hard at times when you get close to the end zone. But the defense was ready, and they step up and make the stop for a little game. On the money. Dixon's brought down after picking up six on this play. Well, defense is loving it when they get you inside the five-yard line because it's hard to deceive them. So they can just go after the offense and be aggressive. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. 
Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. He makes touchdown, Carolina Panthers. Good job by the offense. They get in there, they tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. Got a tie game here now, and what's been a good one so far? The score's seven to seven. Arenas on the return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. They face first down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Jake Coos there to make the stop. Rodgers is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Matt Ryan under center. The Falcons snap it at the 26. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. This is just another way when you run the draw play to see if the defense that you're going against has discipline. If they don't, draw plays work great. Offense lines up here. Third down and two. The Panthers defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line and they tackle the runner for a loss. Looking for a lane on the return. Gets about four yards that time. Well, the best thing we can say about that punt return, well, he didn't fumble the football. Benjamin's a receiver in the slot. From the gun, Newton. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. Second and ten. Play fake. Newton's off the mark there. Incomplete. When you're going against a good quarterback and receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Newton to Olsen. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Now first and ten. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Well, if you have a successful draw play, a lot of times it's up to the quarterback. As he's dropping back, if he holds that football up, it makes everybody think it's a pass. It works. Then when he hands it to the running back, look out. The Panthers have it at the 39. Williams. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Avant in the slot. Newton's going to take it from the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it, and you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Second down and 10. Throws the pass. Weatherspoon's able to knock the pass away. He's such a smart linebacker. That's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time. He diagnosed the play. He saw what it was going to be. Got himself in position, and he made it happen. Gets it out for the completion. Moore's in on the tackle. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. Staying with the passing game on first down. Could have been intercepted. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes. 
but they drop the pass. He'll throw it over the middle. And Weatherspoon in on the tackle. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. A short field goal try on the way. The kick is through for three. Well, Jim, that field goal puts them in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down coming up. Empty backfield look for Ryan here. From the shotgun. Out to White. Kaysen's there that time for the tackle. Falcons will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Rodgers lined up in the backfield. The Falcons from the 37. He'll fire it out to the left. The catch is made and picks up about three. Second down. They're in the hurry up mode. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Throws to the right. Ryan can't find a man that time. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. The Falcons might be looking at the scoreboard and thinking, uh-oh, not again, as they trail in another tight game, partner. Well, I'm going to do a little teaching right here. Don't look at the scoreboard. Just focus on the play that's coming up. Just do your job. If you do that, you'll have a chance to find a way to win. He wants to return this one. Wilson's there to make the tackle. So that's going to do it for the first half. Panthers are up in this one. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. Split backfeeding now as he takes the snap. Benjamin's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. The Panthers have gone up top all day, Phil. Newton's arm is one of the best in the league. Long passes down the field that are completed. It's still one of the prettiest plays in all of sports. It just looks majestic, and man, has he been sharp today. Offense lines up here. Second down, three to go. Gets the handle here. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you, you always hear this control the tempo of the game. Just move the chains, and that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. It's Williams in the backfield. Second down and five. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete. As Olsen, that's a touchdown. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window. Very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it. Fired it. Got the touchdown. The Falcons ready to return the kick. Hester will run this one out. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Falcons now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. Nickel formation here for the defense. First down at the 20. Looking to the right side and throwing. Did not get both feet down. Second down coming up. 
to this is not. Matt Ryan under center. He's brought down at the 20 yard line. Now third and 10 following the run. Julio Jones with the grab. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. He's going to try and return this punt. Keeps his legs moving. Gains 11. The Panthers bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Williams is in the backfield. First down at the 41. Trying to work that left side. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Got to give the defense a lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field. Nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. And the incomplete pass that time as he threw it short <laughs> following that incompletion it sets up third and ten Newton still has it he's got the catch the Panthers have really worked to make the tight end position a part of what they do Olsen's been a threat in the middle of the field and just being a major contributor to the passing game, Phil. Yeah, you said it right, Jim. I mean, listen, he's a great player. We all know that. You know what? Here's what he has in common from one week to next. Last week, he was a big tight end, and this big guy didn't get any smaller. He's still big and very good. Second and six. Finds his mark, and he's tackled just two yards short of a first down. Good job that time by the quarterback. Found the open guy, picked up some solid yards with that pass. Third and short. Now this opens up everything on the offensive side. The defense gets a sack. Well, that's the quarterback's fault. My gosh. The safety, that's who he is supposed to look at at all times. When he's under center and when he drops back, he takes his eyes off of him. And what happens? Well, he gets sacked. This guy is a threat anytime you cross midfield. Really, he can kick it from 60 yards. Great leg strength. What a weapon to have on your side. Hester's going to test the coverage here. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. They come to the line, and it's first down. catch. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. I think the best thing to say about that play is just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Ryan takes it from the gun. Got the completion. Parker's there to take him down. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Split backfield here. Third and five. Has his man. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Matt Bosher ready to punt. The Falcons are getting set to punt. turn as this goes for a touchback they come to the line of scrimmage first down Benjamin's lined up now as a slot receiver play fake almost intercepted that time second down following that incompletion it's Williams in the backfield. And up the middle, brought down at 
at the 20. Two years ago, these quarterback runs, they were in vogue in the NFL. They were working against almost every defense, but defenses have adapted. That time, the quarterback keeps it. Nowhere to go, and he gets tackled at the line of scrimmage. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. And it'll be North. Back to punt. Hester's going to try and return this punt. That brings the play to an end. First down here. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Ryan's going to take the snap from the shotgun. No separation at all. Incomplete. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure. Doesn't even have time to set his feet. Another throw offline. Wide receivers are bunched up. Second and ten. Off the mark. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Quick drop back. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The tackle is made, and that's a three-and-out series for the offense. Good job by the defense. So they're well-taught, well-schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. That's what you call pressure. When everything around the quarterback, they're all at his feet. The offensive linemen are around him. He sees the arms of the defensive linemen all reaching for him. There's nothing he can do but fall to the ground. Williams is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Here we go. Second and eight. Has Olsen. Moores, the one who brings him to the ground. Olson's a big target, but he plays that tight end position like he... It's a wide out, Phil. Yeah, you know what you see now, Jim? It used to be everything was focused around the wide receiver. He was the number one guy in the passing offense, but now we see many tight ends who are the number one option, just like we're seeing here today. It's always good for the quarterback to really do a good job faking the pass right before the draw play. Get the defensive lineman up the field, get the linebackers dropping back for pass, and there's an open gap as the running back took advantage of. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Three-step drop. Secures it with two hands. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Well, this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football, like you said, right down the field. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Webb's got it on the play action. The defense gets the sack. How about the defense on that play? They were not full. They see the pass coming. They get the penetration. They get to the quarterback quick. And that's a big sack down near the goal line. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. When you get great field position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. Arenas on the return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. First down on the way. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Catch made. Tackles made. 
They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. The hit knocks the ball out incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good at punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. The Falcons have it at the 39. Eyeing that left side. Roddy White makes the reception. First down here after the completion. Holding on to the timeout. He'll rush back to the line. It's Douglas. And he's tackled. He'll be a yard short of the first. Will go no huddle. The Falcons snap it up at the 26. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. It'll be third down. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Jumps up and hauls it in. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. Throws to the right. Incomplete as he was looking short. Well, the quarterback's hurried on the play, and he throws an incompletion. The QB had no chance, Jim, that time. No chance. The offensive line just has to keep the defenders off the quarterback a little longer. Second down and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. Has touchdown! I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. So they get the touchdown, but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. Flag is out. And the tackle is made at the 41. Talk about field position. After that penalty, after that failure to get the ball to travel 10 yards, the other team is set up big time. Uh, you listen, you, it's a calculated risk. You think you've got the, the receiving team and not paying attention, and then you don't even kick the ball 10 yards. Inexcusable. Second down coming up. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. And that's dead in on the stop. Falcons use another timeout here, and they have one left. Third down now. The Panthers line up, split backfield. Williams has handed the football. Still not taken down. Williams is tackled down. Timeout called by the defensive unit. First down here after the run. Takes the knee. This will be second down. How important was this victory today, Phil? 
They're all important, but this one gives you that little confidence, makes next week a lot easier to deal with.